Hello and welcome to the video. This is one of three videos that are forming part of the motor and prop tips. Now for those of you that fly fixed wing stuff, uh, I'm a massive wing pilot here, you'll know that if you're coming from the multi-rotor part of the hobby, it can be a little bit complicated because uh, there's an awful lot to think about and how do you make your plane fly faster, how do you make it fly for longer, how do you make it easier to launch? Because a lot of wings are launched by just throwing them into the air and some of them are trickier than others. Uh, the good news is, is you're in the right place because this is Marcus. Say hello, Marcus. Hi, I'm me. <laughs> Marcus is the gentleman behind a tool called eCalc. Now there's a free version you can access and that free version will give you a limited set of motors and props and things that you can choose from, but you can uh, create an account on there and then that will give you access to everything. Now, to create a full account on eCalc isn't a free thing. However, Marcus has very kindly offered a five-day free trial for viewers of this video. Now, it is a time trial. I'll put links down below. But by logging in using those links, you can access the tool, all the features for five days. So you can try it out and you can try the stuff that we're about to show in the video. So everything we're about to show on eCalc is using the full version. Now that allows you to put in motor prop ESC combinations and do some very clever stuff, which allows you rather than, which is the way I used to do it, you buy yourself a motor and a prop and you stick it on the model, you take it for a fly and you go, yeah, I could probably go faster or <laughs> yeah, I could probably make that easier to launch and go and try and find another combination that works. eCalc actually lets you plug that all in and find out how it's all gonna work. So today, we are going to answer one of those three questions. So check out the playlist below, I'll put a link, because we're going to answer how to make your plane fly faster, how to make your plane fly for longer, and how to make your plane easier to launch. Now, Marcus, as well, is based in Switzerland, and he owns a radio control store, uh, ships worldwide. So if you are interested in uh, getting hold of radio control stuff, then check out Marcus's store as well. There's a link down below. Definitely need to put that in here because Marcus has been incredibly generous with his time because not only am I making these videos so that you, the audience, can learn some stuff, uh, I'm actually learning every, t every, every time I speak to Marcus. Uh, I learned something. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get into this video about this topic we're going to cover today. So this time we are going to talk about how to make your model easier to launch, particularly with wings where we don't have landing gear, we're having to just lob them into the air. And ideally you want enough thrust out of the back of the prop so that it just catches itself and gracefully takes to the clouds. However, that isn't always the case. Maybe your model is a little bit heavy because you put a larger battery in it to try and fly for longer. Maybe, you know, with all the equipment in it, maybe you've just got a motor and prop out of your spares bin that was around because we've all done that. So this is about how to make your model easier to launch and the things you can change. So there's a couple of things that we could look at for this, isn't there, Marcus? So what we have to do is basically increase the static thrust. So you can better hand launch your model. We can do this by uh, two different things. Either we increase the diameter of the propeller. That gives you considerable more static thrust. Or we increase the number of cells in your battery. So, so this is one of those things where um, lots of people uh, that I talk to, this is a little bit confusing because Static thrust is something that's easy to calculate, uh, well, easier to calculate. And the thing about static thrust is that it's not only interesting for things like hand launching, as I've just mentioned, but also it's having lots of static thrust can make a plane, a regular airplane model that has a landing gear easier to take off. And also static thrust is something that you're really interested in if you want to do aerobatics, things like prop hanging, where you need a lot of static thrust. So that it's not just about when you want to, to hang, uh, when you want to launch your model in the field from your hand, there's other things too. So let's jump into eCalc and have a look at those couple of examples uh, and kind of illustrate the point, because there's a couple of little gotchas that you need to be aware of. 
So here we are in eCalc. Uh, this, although it says Atomar Sea Dolphin, this is one that Marcus and I have been kind of playing with. It could be for any of these kind of wings. Again, it's a very standard setup for six, 700 millimeter wings. So we've got a 30 amp ESC. We have an Emax 2306 2400 kV motor, which is almost exactly what I've got on this little model. And uh, for this example, we're just uh, pretending that we're starting with a five by three inch prop. So Marcus, can you just quickly cover then those two things? So we have here the drive with a 5 by 3 inch prop. So as you can see here, uh, we have a, about 550 grams static thrust. That's a thrust weight ratio of 1.54. So it should be already fine for hand launching. But however, if you have the impression that hand launching is still hard, then we have to increase the static thrust. As we said before, we can either increase the diameter of the propeller. So six by three, I hit the calculate. Wow, now, okay, so that one inch has added nearly 300 grams worth of thrust. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The second one is we increase again the size of the battery. I will redo this here to the uh, standard drive we had before, and now we increase from 3 to 4S battery, and we are about in the same ballpark. So with the former prop, 5x3, but increasing the battery gives you also about roughly 400 grams more of thrust. So again, be aware though that the, the impact of adding uh, a diameter to the blade, it gives you an exponential increase in your current. Yeah. So, you know, this is why using something like eCalc is really handy. Similarly, changing from a 3S to a 4S with the same motor and the same prop can also uh, give you quite a, a significant increase in the amount of current that you're pulling. So I would always recommend when you're doing these kind of things, come into eCalc, run the numbers in here, and you have a level of confidence that when you try it at the field, you won't see any magic smoke as you're trying to run at 100% throttle. So there you have it. Those are the two things. So power systems, um, motors, props, ESCs and batteries all go together. Changing one thing will affect how the overall system performs. And there's lots of different things to think about. This one, we were talking about static thrust. Uh, so check out the other videos in the series. Uh, there's one more to come in this series, which is gonna be talking about efficiency and how to fly for longer. Marcus, thanks again, and we'll see you next yep. time. Thank you very much. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.